It's small, it's easy to use, it's relatively inexpensive. It looks like a cross between a Brillo pad and a conker. But this tiny invention, according to the latest research, is already saving lives. Called the Cyto sponge, you swallow the device and it helps to find something called Barrett's esophagus, which is a condition that can potentially develop into cancer. Liz is one of those lives it saved. She had no idea she was ill, but volunteered to try the device out out of scientific curiosity. I was just interested in the trial. I'd never heard of Barrett's esophagus, which is what this is looking for. Uh, and, and so I thought, yeah, I'd, I'd be interested in taking part. Uh, and I was very lucky because if I hadn't, I wouldn't be sitting here now feeling perfectly healthy. The idea is simple enough. Once in your stomach, the casing dissolves, leaving this wiry looking sponge behind. After seven and a half minutes, the nurse pulls it back out and it scrapes millions of cells from the lining of your esophagus or food pipe. The cells are the white bits floating around here and they're checked for the Barrett's condition, which could be an early sign of cancer. I think the impact could be huge because this is such a, an aggressive cancer. So if you're diagnosed with cancer of the esophagus, then often we can't do much at all to cure it. If we can, then we're talking about chemotherapy, maybe some radiotherapy and an operation to remove your gullet, your esophagus. If we can detect it early, it's a completely different ball game. So if you've got an early cancer, you may not even know you've got it yet. We can treat it down the endoscope. We can do microsurgery down the endoscope. We can burn away the lining. That's going to be an outpatient treatment. You'll be home the same day and we can cure it. Their latest national trial found that the cytosponge can diagnose 10 times more cases of Barrett's esophagus than the current method. They hope it'll be routinely available in the next few years. The quicker, cheaper way of spotting the early signs of esophageal cancer. Richard Westcott, BBC Look East, Cambridge.